What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Hopefully you guys can hear me well. I'm recording this from my iPad Pro. So as you guys all probably know, this last Tuesday Apple unveiled a bunch of new products. Uh, today I'm mainly going to be talking about the uh, new iPhone SE. We all love to see the SE. Sadly, there are some things that personally will make me not want to buy it. So let me just show you guys what... Um, what's going on with their their new Apple iPhone SE. So, of course, we got the same uh, design as the iPhone SE 2. That's personally a red flag for me. I enjoy the design of the iPhone SE, the first one, the box off that looks like an iPhone 5. This is like an iPhone 6 or 6S or 7, whatever. I don't personally like this design too much. Uh, so that's a reason why I probably won't get that. So it starts at 429, which is pretty good. I think it's the cheapest uh, iPhone out there. So if you're looking for an entry level iPhone, want to get your feet wet into the Apple ecosystem, this is for sure probably going to be your best, one of your best options if you don't want to spend too much just to see if you really like uh, iOS and stuff like that. Or if you're trying to get your your kid a, a iPhone or like a, a phone, a starter phone, this would also be a good one unless you want to go cheaper and get a used iPhone like a uh, iPhone 8 plus would probably be cheaper or iPhone 10 would probably still be cheaper but let's go down and see what they got so so they say a leap in battery life we'll see how that all this will compare this so it has the A15 so basically it has the same chip that my iPhone 13 Pro Max has so you know you're gonna get great performance uh, and especially with that tiny screen, I'm pretty sure you're not pushing, I don't know what the screen resolution is, but when we talk about that, we'll, we'll find out, but you're going to be able to push all the new games and stuff like that. So uh, everything's going to load up smoothly and quickly. Oh, you do have a home button. So that is pretty, that is pretty, um, that's a big one for me because home buttons, I've missed those home buttons so much. Uh, they got rid of them at the iPhone 10 and I've been wanting one since then, but all the flagship phones haven't had a touch ID, but I guess this, this is the way to get it. So, uh, you get, uh, up to one and a half, one and 1.2 times faster graphics performance versus the iPhone SE second generation. Let's see what happens when you do. Oh, see, they don't let you compare. Let's see. Up to five times from iPhone to 6S. I mean, three times, two times, and the SE is one time. So, I mean, if you're coming from one of these phones, then this is probably going to be a good upgrade for you. So, let's see. What else are they saying? Other The camera. Let's see what the camera quality is. Oh, I mean the battery. So, high efficient chip, iOS, where iOS 15 work together to boost battery life. So I see you're connected to a 20 watt, which you probably, you're not going to get that in the box. So you're going to have to buy that separately or, oh, when you need to just place it. Oh, so it has wireless charging. I don't know if the other one had that one. So iPhone 6S has four more hours, two more hours. Okay. So two hours and then two hours. So it's two more hours than the uh, uh, iPhone SE second generation. Um, oh, now you have 5G on um, the iPhone SE, so that would be real good. So, yeah, they do support their products for a long time, so this A15 Bionic chip will probably be good for another three, four years, if probably longer, five or six, in my opinion, because um, the iPhone 7 and 6S and 8 probably still all run fine. Probably just battery life sucks, but... Other than that, it's not that bad. So, we got the... Let's see what we got. The design, it's the same. Back, the same. Oh, I think it has a... Oh, nice. I don't know if the SE second generation had a water resistance, but that's really, really neat to see because... Um, Sometimes you get drop these in the shower or you can take them into rain or stuff like that. So, yeah, so that's real nice. You can drop some water on it and that's pretty good. Let's see, it doesn't say the IP rating, so 
we don't know about that. So a camera you instead to click with. So the A50 Bionic chip helps you take better pictures. Smart HDR4. I mean, yeah, we all know. iPhones take pretty distant pictures no matter where. Uh, so you look once. Oh, nice. They got the photogenic styles. The same feature that the iPhone 13 has. Portrait mode, of course. Let's see. Really good portraits. You're not going to miss out. Portrait lighting, so you can set up lighting. That's really cool. That's going to be a really cool feature. Low lights and just low light videos are going to look even better, which is pretty cool. Um, that's a solid option to have. A nice portable handheld camera you can have. So you got the slow mo, you got the time lapse. Sharp, bright. See, Retina HD, I don't know if that's actually 1080p, but still might be like, like what is that, 7, like a beefed up 720. But honestly, with a screen that size, you're probably not going to be complaining too much. And then we have the home button. Yes, yeah, so I'll freaking bring that back to the new iPhones because we all miss that. So Touch ID is fast, simple. Yes, it's the person I loved it more than than um face id but all the newer ones have it like i said uh apple does care about your privacy they do they do keep try to keep that as much as possible let's see what we got right here all oh, nice this is in, in san francisco been there they got some nice uh, ios 15 started uh you can share your tv you can share um um, let's see what they got. Yeah, so it has a bunch of new features. Oh, uh, this is just about their carbon. And then you have the colors. Personally, for this one, I'd probably go with the black or the red one. But let's see what it says about. It doesn't let me. Your iPhone, the new iPhone. Yes, you guys just see all this AirPods. I mean, that's cool. This is basically it. You get a nice case for it, but I bet they're probably just as, as um, overcharged for them now as they were when they released for the first one. So 4.7 inch display, yeah, I'd right rather have. See, it is not even, it's like a little bit higher than 720p, which is all right. Be better for battery, better for performance, I guess. Um, rated IP67, 30 minutes, not bad. What do you get? You get 1080p at 2560. You don't get, you get, oh, you get 4K at 60, which is pretty good. A front-facing camera, not bad, but not the best. Touch ID, big win. Let's see what happens when you pre-order. So let's see how much you can get this. So I'm not gonna do a trade-in because I'm coming in the perspective that you're just buying this. I'll go with the product red, with 64 gigs, and uh, connect with carrier. And do you have a smartphone trade-in? No. So you could potentially pay this for four twenty nine basically. And then when does this release? Uh, well it doesn't matter. So whenever it releases you guys will just be able to get it. So what do you get in the box? So you get the USB C the lightning cable and you get the iPhone, so no uh, headphones, no um, charging a brick or, or anything like that. So you're kind of just stuck like that. Uh, other than that, they just released a new color for the iPhone 13 Pro. What else did they release? Uh, new iPhone 13, iPad Air. Did they release any new headphones? Are we talking about a headphones yet? No, they are releasing a new studio display. I bet that's like a couple grand. 
iPad Air though. That's gonna be a good one for students. Ooh, is that like a purple color? Like bright full of might. M1 chip, nice 5G, works with Apple Cam, Magic Keyboard. Nice, all screen, 10.9 inch liquid retina display, true tone. Touch ID is built to the top of the button. That's really cool. I don't even think mine has that. You can come in, ooh, it comes in purple. That's gonna be a nice one. A lot of people are gonna like that purple color. The M1 chip is an eight core chip of a 60. Nice, good stuff. This is definitely gonna be um, great for the students. You can put the the magic keyboard on there. It just honestly, you could do so much with it. That's a big case, so I don't know if I'd put such a big case on that thing, but you have to try to keep that nice and pristine. Um. Oh snap! Are they playing Apex online? That's not even released yet. Sorry, guys. Hold up. We got to go to the app store because I'm pretty sure that's not even released. No, nah, that's not even released yet. So I don't even know how they're playing that. That's got to be a... Sorry, sorry. Way off track. But they don't even have that on the... App Store, so that's gonna be cool. I guess a, a nice little re sneak peek. Wi-Fi six, get the best of the Apple pencils. Great for for students and everybody. You take a lot of notes. This is a cool looking white keyboard. I do like that, but I already have the black one, so I can't really do anything like that. Oh, you can transfer iPad OS. Works wonders. It's getting there. iPod OS will, will be real good soon. I can feel it. It's starting to get better each each iteration of it. So I know it's gonna be a good one. Run apps like Word and Excel, yes. Yeah, honestly it's it's a good buy. It's a good buy. It's a good buy. I don't know how much this is, but under five ninety nine. Five ninety nine would be a good price. Oh, see, five ninety nine. That's not bad. Purple, sick color. Wi-Fi. You can get some engraving, no engraving. You can add it all up here. So next week it releases, actually, five days. So what the heck is that? Yeah, probably next week. But yeah, honestly, it's a good iPad. You iPad Air is always solid, cheaper than the Pros. Does is almost the same amount of stuff, probably with just less power, and uh, the screen size is a little bit smaller. But overall, Apple event. I wish they would have released some headphones, cause what we got right now, AirPods. How much are AirPods? I like AirPods. I, mean, I haven't felt the the feel of AirPods third generation, but the second generation and first generation were honestly my favorite because they would never slip off while I ran. I know some people have had difficulty keeping those in the, in their, um, what's it called? In their ear, but I had more difficulty keeping the AirPods Pro in my ear. They felt like they still slip out. AirPod Max would be cool, but if they added like a, like a way to, a workout with them like a good over the ear workout but unfortunately we have to go with beats for that if you want uh some of that so the website's not loading but actually it is loading but yeah i'm not paying like 500 bucks for these though so i think i'm gonna leave you guys off with that the apple van eh, it was good um new color new phone new ipad kind of expected but uh, welcome to see we need um, some more stuff hopefully in this soon but hope you guys enjoyed it and i'll see you guys in the next one peace